Hi, this is Charles Warren. I'm the head of product over here at Gradle.com. I'm recording this from the Gradle San Francisco office. If you hear a little city noise in the background, that's why. I'm going to show you some amazing new things we've built with Gradle.com. It's just getting started, but I want to show you how to get it set up and what it can do for you. First, I'm going to assume that you've got experience with the Gradle build tool. You know how to edit a build script, things like that. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just find my way to gradle.com. I'm going to create a build receipt. And basically what we're doing to get this set up is we're going to configure your build and then run it with a new command, deliver receipt. So this first step to apply the plugin uh, is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is add some code to my build gradle file. So I'm going to copy this code. And down here, I'm going to go ahead and open that build Gradle file. That pops open here in my text editor. And now paste what's on my clipboard. Of course, remember to save it. So I can close out of that now and go on to the next step, running my build. To run my build and get the build receipt, I need to add this new deliver receipt parameter to the build command. So I copy that. Now I hop over to my terminal window. I'm going to paste that command here, build deliver receipt, and run it. And the project's running. It took seven seconds. And what's new here is there's a link. Let's click on that. Comes up. We see the see inside your build message from gradle.com. I go ahead and click go with my email in there. So from here I get this message to check my email and if I click over there, there it is. There's my new build receipt. And now I can click on the see inside your build link. And so here we go. You are about to see your first Gradle build receipt. And what you're going to see for now is reasonably modest. It's useful, but I want you to imagine what you're going to be able to do with this as we add more features. Understand how much the build can tell you about the health of your project, your team, your software. So let's have a look. Dismiss this, and here it is. You can see the build that ran. You can see some details about it, how long it took, what version of Gradle was running. In this closed state, all the tasks are organized by how long they took. If you pop it open, you can see all the tasks can see how Gradle was configured to run, and you can see some details about the machine that ran that build. From here, we're going to add all sorts of interesting stuff. But for now, one useful thing about this is you can grab this URL and share it with somebody who might be able to help you with it, who's interested in what you're doing, can help you sort out a problem. So that's it. As I said, simply configure your build and then you run it with this new deliver receipt command and you're done. I hope you can give it a try and we'd love any feedback you might have on this pre-beta release. Thank you.